But up playa is well boss tay up in this mud, uh, feeling much better, still sounding kind of froggy though. Um, today we're at day five of Project Dark Eldar, and um, I know yesterday I got kind of overzealous and just painted these three up to completion, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy with, but um, I think in the long run what I want to do next is uh, continue painting the other 17 up to a certain point and then um, go step by step because <laughs> when I when I um, looked at what I did yesterday these three models and then I looked at the rest of my guys I was like oh I still so far to go um, if I do at least up to the washes step with everybody then I think I'll feel a lot more secure in uh, where I am with everybody everybody will be at the same level so to speak so uh sorry i still got the kathleen turner voice thing going on but um i'm going to go on and paint three things today with all my guys i'm going to paint the metallics so um bolt gun metal for all the silver calvin brown and dwarf bronze for all of the gold so we'll see how far i get in a couple hours <laughs> All oh, right, a couple of hours later, we are back, and as you can see, I did just about what I what I set out to do. The only thing I didn't finish was getting onto the gold. The uh, Hankatrix was the only one that I kind of got the gold onto, the gold details onto, because I just got really bored. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna stop for today and um, lie down. But uh, let me show you what else I did. I decided to finish the Hydra Gauntlets, and I think they came out pretty well. They've got this kind of ghostly, glowy blue to them. The recipe that I followed for this was Hawk Turquoise, number one. And then I um, used some P3 paints. The P3 paints that I used were Troll Blood Base, over the hot turquoise and then arcane blue to give it this really ghostly glowy light and then I, I finished off with fortress gray actually so it looks like it goes all the way up to skull white but it doesn't it kind of stops at fortress gray on the edges but I think they came out pretty good there was one and here's the other one the girl with the hydro gauntlets so I'm really happy with the way those turned out <clears throat> oh look how beefy she is She's a beefy girl. I also use the same color combination for the agonizer. Agonizer was about, I want to say like halfway done. Uh, all I have to do is add the shading now and um, the lightning bolts, the little, little energy crackles. But what else did I do? I painted the Calvin Brown and the um, bolt gun metal on all the other guys. So I just have to paint the uh, shining gold now over all of, or not shining gold, but the dwarf bronze on all the gold details and then clean up with some chaos black like on the body suits where a lot of the mistakes were made. I think a lot of the time was spent with the fine detail brush cleaning up in between the hydra gauntlets have uh, these little spikes you can see on the top. So when you're trying to highlight those, a lot of times the paint gets onto the gauntlet itself, so you're spending a lot of time with a fine detail brush going in and fixing those with Chaos Black. So that's uh, that definitely took a lot of my, my gold time out, but you know, in the end, I'm kind of glad that I got these done with because they were the specialist weapons of the squad, so now I don't have to go back and, and fix them. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that's all I'm going to do for today. Again, this is Project Dark Eldar, day five, February 5th. Um, what else did I want to say before I wrap this video up? Oh yeah, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so I got that going on in the other room, so I'll lie down and check that out. <clears throat> um, Plans, upcoming plans for the Dark Eldar is to continue painting on the gold details and then get on to the highlighting of the armor 
which I'm actually going to do with uh, Troll Blood Base from P3 Paints. And um, let me show you that again. This is what that looks like. I went back and I highlighted these guys' armor with the Troll Blood Base, and uh, you can see that it. I, I like it, it picks up the armor edging better than just straight hawk turquoise, which is what they were originally. But the troll blood base really, you can get some really good fine edge highlighting details on. Like look at that, that knee pad, just sticks to the, to the edges really nicely. And it looks, it looks kind of like otherworldly and ghostly and um, I guess a good substitute would be ice blue, but you don't really see that kind of effect on um, with Games Workshop paints so really happy with the way uh, the way the project is going and uh, the direction it's going I think in in a little while all of the main base coats and stuff should be done and then just left to detailing work and it's still the beginning of February so this project looks like looks like it's gonna be wrapped up pretty soon uh, for all my fantasy players out there stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of Krell and the Vargeists I, I got a box set of that and um, want to uh, keep checking in with my Ogre Kingdoms and Vampire Counts buddies out there. For Ogre Kingdoms, I've got a painting tutorial of uh, Bragg the Gutsman lined up. I've also got a painting tutorial of this guy, the Lizardman Old Blood. So that's coming up. <laughs> this is going from a Project Dark Eldar update to like the a general studio update but I just got a whole bunch of stuff planned in the works for the future so so stay tuned hope you're all having a good restful Sunday and um, we'll see you in the next video